What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bard Shark Gaming with me, your friendly neighborhood fish bud. How are you guys doing tonight? I know it's a little late for me, isn't it? I usually don't start this late, but uh, I just, I'm, I'm awake. What the hell? Um, so, I don't know if you guys have uh, been checking out the Discord at all, but uh, if you have, you've noticed that... Uh, that uh you know I've been, i haven't been feeling well the last couple of days um i wanted to do something for my birthday on my birthday but i wasn't feeling great um by the time the evening came around and uh so i i i, I had to had to postpone um and then friday i went to the i went to the clinic and uh you know got got you know the meds that i needed or whatever and uh i still had a fever that night so i couldn't do it last night either um but tonight, I'm actually feeling good. Um, my antibiotics seem to be uh, taking effect quite well. So um, I figure, what the hell? Let's start this tonight. I'm super fucking excited. Because, um, so, I'm, I'm sure you can you can see the stream title and everything. But we got Metroid Prime remastered. And I know I played the original on the channel before. Um but that that was the that was the original GameCube version. This is completely remastered and uh and done on the Switch. And uh I haven't seen anything about the game. I don't know what the graphics look like. I don't know what it sound what the music sounds like. I don't know any of the differences. Um I assume it's got motion controls similar to uh, Metroid Prime 3 and the and and the trilogy that was on the Wii. Um so I got, I got my Joy Cons. I got new ones, uh, so these ones don't have any. These ones don't drift. Um, so I picked these up yesterday um, on the way back uh, from 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 the clinic. Was it yesterday that I got these? It was yesterday that I got these. Yeah, so I was on the way back from the clinic, um, and I picked them up. So I got new ones. But yeah, we're gonna start this and. I haven't even I haven't even opened the game since I got it. Um, I don't know what I don't, I don't know any of the options or anything. I haven't even looked at the menu. Um, I'm excited because I want to know if they added a feature that was in the original that you could only unlock if if you beat Metroid Fusion, which is a Game Boy Advance game, and you link and you linked it to Metroid Prime. Uh, via the gba cable and whatnot uh you could unlock the fusion suit in in prime and i want to see if they have added that because apparently in the trilogy it was an option that you could unlock with special points um so i want to see if they have it in this and if they do we might end up using it if not i'll be perfectly satisfied seeing the remastered shiny like normal various suit and and all that because Let's be honest, the suit looks awesome. So we're going to start this. We're going to get into it. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to go for. It's not going to be too, too long because um, it is late. Uh, but we're going to get into it and we're going to see how far we get. So uh, let's 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 go because I'm 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 hyped. I've been hyped for this since I got it. I, well, for two days, I've been hyped. So uh, we're going to get into it. Ah, uh, be just a second. All right, so let's uh, let's go. Oh, I don't know what to expect. I'm so fucking excited. This is going to be so good. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, let me... Yeah, let me turn that up. Ooh, look at it. Hey, Shadow Wolf, how's it going, man? How you doing? Let's say to start. All right, let's go. Mm 
and you're old. We got extras. Why is there a thing in extras? Concept gallery character. Oh, it was your birthday? When was your birthday? Today? Well, shit, dude. Happy birthday. Dude, it was, it was my birthday uh, on the 16th, two days ago. What is this biology? Oh. Oh, what is this? Change item. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Biology remastered. Oh, that's the ship. Okay. Character gallery. Just the ship? Damn, that looks so good, though. Damn. There's a soundtrack gallery now, too? Damn, we got the songs. Okay. Saving in progress, all right. Okay, options. Dual stick. Dual stick. Standard control scheme using control sticks for movement and aiming. Pointer enables motion controls for camera movement and aiming. Similar to Metroid Prime Trilogy for Wii. Hybrid combines the classic controls control scheme with motion controls for aiming. Classic. Plays with classic controls based on the original GameCube version. Ooh. Its default is the dual stick. How would it be with pointer though? Because if it's similar to Metroid, the Metroid Prime trilogy, then it's going to be similar to how Metroid Prime Three worked. I've been trying to think of what to what I want to get with my birthday money, even though it was just twenty dollars. I mean, there's a there's a Steam sale going on right now, dude. You can you can check that out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, email, for letting me know that I have gone live. <laughs> it's so kind of you. So many games. Well, see, what you could do is you got $20, right? You could take said $20, get something that's a little... If, if you have extra cash, you could take the $20, put it towards something that's a little bit more expensive, and then just pay the difference yourself. What of these do I want to use? I kind of want to do the pointer, honestly. This is going to be so... Right, we're going to go pointer. Display. Helmet visibility, yeah. Color is this? No, we're good. Sound, I think sound is good. Disables the narration that was added for the original European and Japanese versions of Metroid Prime. There was... There was narrations? What? What is this? This matches the original Japanese version of Metroid Prime. Really? I didn't know there was differences. 
Okay. So, it looks like... It looks like it's not there. It looks like they don't have it there, which is kind of a bummer, but maybe it's an unlock. Maybe you can maybe you can get access to it after you like beat the game, which if you remember when I did this when I did the original Metroid Prime on the channel, I 100%ed it. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do again because it's Metroid Prime, but you know normal casual what there's a there's there's what uh okay uh what's the difference okay we'll go normal fuck it Dude, I'm so fucking hyped for this. <sighs> Might not be on for long. Need some sleep. Hope you enjoy the game. Oh, dude. I appreciate it. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of this game. Because it's fucking Metroid Prime. Unidentified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4. Yo. Show it. Let's go. I'm so hyped to see this. Damn. Those bold, those asteroids, though. They look so good. Yo, look at the frigate. Yo, this looks so good. And Sean went to NOLA yesterday, and I got home around... Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo! I'm so hyped for this, man. You guys have no idea. Damn, look at her! She looks shiny as fuck! Let's go! How's this? How's this doing? How, how how you doing this? Okay. That is very sensitive. Okay. That is very sensitive. My God. Can we do something about that? Can I do anything about that? Controls, control scheme. Damn, and that's aim sensitivity. If I had this game, I would use the GameCube controller. Yeah, I know, but... I use the motion controls to fine-tune targeting reticle while locked onto enemies. Well, because right now I'm using the pointer. And then there's the, du there's the dual stick, which is the standard control scheme. I wanted to see what it was like uh, on the Met Metroid Prime trilogy. Which I might just swap to dual stick. Or just go back to classic. Let's see what hybrid does. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. That just... It just lets me move this way with the stick. 
and it doesn't do anything with the other stick. Yeah, I kind of want to use my right my right stick. I'm still I'm still mapping out the seeing what feels comfortable. I know classic would be fine because I'm I'm used to that with the original. But let's see what dual, dual stick does. Okay. That's fine. Cuz if I'm locked on the enemies anyway, yeah, this is fine. Thing is though, she still looks she's still looking up. She's still looking up if I like lock onto something. Have a... Anyone's gonna go to bed. Take care. Have a good night. All right, Shadow Wolf. Have a good one, dude. Have a good night. Get some rest. Oh, we got a kitty treat? Well, kitty's asleep, but I'm sure she'll wake up. Come on. You want a treat? I'm gonna make you get up. You're gonna have to get up. Come on. Come on. Get up. Yeah, that's right. Get up. Come on. You're already halfway up. May as well get up the rest of the way. I don't know. You take the one I'm holding first. Oh, or you can drop it. That's fine, too. Where did it go? Where did it go? No, seriously, where did it go? Cat, how did you lose it? Legit, how did you lose it? It's nowhere. You didn't eat it. What'd you do? You've been saving points for that? Well, she lost one of them. I don't know where it went. I don't think she got it. But she got those two. There you go. Probably find the other one later. <laughs> it's probably on the floor somewhere. There you go, baby. You got a treat. You gonna say thank you? Probably not. <laughs> Teach him who's boss. Yeah, uh huh. She freaking lost it. I don't know where it went. Cause it's not. It's not anywhere near me. Hey, you gonna go back to sleep now? You gonna lay back down and go back to sleep? Probably. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow Wolf, for that. Okay. Damn, that looks so good. Let's scan this. And scan this. You know, I feel like I feel like I could get used to this if it wasn't so sensitive. The camera's fine, it's the aim sensitivity that I have an issue with. Please calibrate your controller by placing it on a stable, flat surface. Uh, I do not have one of those, uh, uh, currently. Um, yeah, failed to calibrate your controller, I'm not surprised. Uh, 
let's see. What, how am I going to do this? All right, man. Have a good night. I need to figure out how the hell I'm going to calibrate this damn thing. Um, uh, okay, I have an idea. It's a dumb idea, but I have an idea. I'll take this pillow, right? I'll put it in my lap for a moment. Then we'll take a game case, and we'll put that on top of the pillow. What, do I gotta go back to the option? Control scheme? But it wanted to calibrate, so now it's saying it doesn't need to calibrate? What? Okay, we're going to set this up properly. If I go to dual stick... Okay, then we just go back to this. Yeah, that's still the same. Okay. Um, but if I change this, is it going to do it again? Yeah, okay. Failed to calibrate controller. I don't understand. I, I put it on a flat surface. Like, why? why? You know what? I'm sure it's fine. Let's just... Get that aim sensitivity down. And it should be fine. Okay, we'll do it this way. And see if that works. Yeah, no, I don't think I could deal with that. I don't think I could deal with that at all. Because then you're just constantly, like, if I so much as, like, pause, you know, and just rest my hands, then it's constantly turning around. I can't deal with that. So, I think... Yeah, I think we're just going to go with dual stick. Let's scan our gunship because we can. Oh, is it not going to let me? Okay, there's a force field active. Gotcha. All right, that's fine. Let's go. I should have, like, ordered food or something earlier. Pretty sure it's too late now, because it's, like, after midnight. So we gotta shoot these things.
Wait, that jumps? Oh, no, that's missiles. Yo, I can jump with this button? What? You can jump with this button? Use a beam? Oh, shit! I can do it with that now. So, if that is that, how come that... How come ZL isn't, uh... Is an aim. Can I map them? Targeting reticle remain fixed on enemies while locked to them. Camera will slowly recenter. <laughs> Jump footing check. It can automatically look where you're jumping. And she has spring ball. So if I go to morph ball. She just has that? I don't remember in the original if you ever had the ability to just jump. Okay, anyway. Let's go. Oh, let's get some let's get some scans. Deck beta biohazard research. Current status environment normal. Deck gamma reactor core and propulsion. Current status environment normal. Emergency evacuation area, deck alpha. Current status, environment unstable. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. All right. Yes, this is a door, entrance to airlock. Let's not do that. Oh, look at this. Can I scan you? I mean, I know you're dead. Damn, look at them. They got, like, proper textures and shit now. They look so good. They look so good, man. Okay, scan the airlock. Airlock repressurization successful. And wait for a bit and everything drops. There we go. Anything else in this hallway? No? Okay. Do you hear that? You can hear, like, the sound is different because you're in a fucking hallway. Oh, hello? What are you? Little shit's under the floor. Anything in this hallway? No? Okay. Wait. What did you lock on? Just that, okay. Let's get a scan of you. Morphology, parasite, interstellar vermin. They travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. And what is this? Analysis, analysis shows incredibly large muscle structure surrounding the jaw areas. Fluid sacs containing acid are detected. Okay. But what is it? Morphology unknown. Info. High levels of radiation detected. Okay. Can, can, can you lock onto the other thing, please? No. No. Lock on. Lock onto the thing. Thank you. Morphology Space Pirate. Death caused by severe flame damage to exoskeleton. Damn. Wait, is it. There's no way that's to scale. It makes Samus look so tiny. 
And what happened to you? Space pirate death call, death call, death caused by a severing of the spinal cord. I mean, that happened to me, but I'm not dead. Guess I got lucky. Biohazardous materials phase on batch 0073.A. Destination deck beta. Uh, okay, deck beta. Also deck beta. And what do we have here? Escape pod entrance. The vessels have been jettisoned already. Okay. So it looks like they dipped the fuck out. I'm gonna blast this little fucker though. Wow. Also, the fact that there's only one. I think I remember there being multiple. I hear more. Oh, is that an elevator? Platform does not look like it can be activated from this room. Oh, okay. Ah, there's more. Blow! Blow! And how are you, sir? Death caused by acid burns to body. Chemical type unknown. Yo, look at this. It looks so fucking good. Damn, it looks so good. Yeah, it's a dead boy. Hey, what's going on, man? Cyber Command, how's it going? Oh, this one's alive? Space Pirate. We fly like science, like science detected. Imprint of large bite marks can be seen on the exoskeleton. Well, I'm pretty sure this dude is going to shoot me. Are you going to shoot me, sir? Are you going to shoot me? You're going to try to shoot me. Okay, you die. My favorite thing about this game is probably the very detailed information. Yeah, like even the original was pretty detailed. Escape pods, escape pods 3, 4, and 7 launched. Escape pod launch coordinates Talon 4. 110L.30L. Research command center. Okay. So is that where they went? Tail-like section possesses a mouth-like orifice, most likely used for birthing offspring. Oh, so they just shit them out through their tails, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm doing good! Uh, it's a little late for me uh, to be streaming, but um, I was awake, and I have been wanting to play this game for a couple of days now, and uh, I haven't really been feeling that great. But I felt good tonight, so I thought I'd go ahead and start it. Clear this rubble out of the way. Uh, space pirate. Death caused by excessive blunt trauma to the cranium. Yeah, that would do it. You can get your skull bashed in. Yeah, that'll kill you. Makes sense. Getting used to these new controls, though, um, is kind of challenging because I'm not... Let's be honest, I'm not used to being able to control Metroid Prime with my right stick like this. You remember much from the old game? I remember almost everything from the new from the old game. I've played the I played the original so many times um in the past. I I did the original actually once on the channel, but um Metroid Prime was one of my favorite GameCube games. Both uh both it and its sequel I love them so much, I played through them repeatedly. Because it just, it was, it was fun. It was really fun. And, like, getting to see it like this, all remastered and the graphics upgraded and all this, it's so good. I'm really excited to see, like, what everything else in the game is going to look like. I mean, even the sounds are so much better. I mean, I think this is still the... It still sounds like the original soundtrack, but... I mean, the original soundtrack was good, too. So I don't expect the music to be that much different. But probably some of the sounds got, um... Remastered. Map Station. Walk into Map Station Holograms to download a map of the area you're in. Okay. 
Until we just walk in? You know, downloaded the area for this the the map for you've downloaded the area. You've downloaded the map for this area. Ah, yes. And this and this 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 map. So we're here, and we have all of this to go through. Do we have any information? I forget exterior hull stable and fully functional. Okay, that's good. Talon 4, ground zero area secure. Crater radiation was reading normal. What's down there? Why would it not be reading normal? Parasitic infestation has been detected in the ventilation systems of Dex, Gamma, and Beta. Must be the creatures that I saw. Two Parasite Queen specimens have become volatile on Deck Beta. All security personnel should report to the biotech research area. Oh shit, did they lose did they lose control of something? Wait, can we get the energy trail behind the ball? Yes, we do! If it rolls, if it rolls enough, you get that energy, that little energy trail. I always love that. Open the door. Scan this. Get the elevator going. Access to deck beta approved. Please step into the hologram. I am in the hologram. Or I was. Platform active. Okay. Down we go. The door will be here. Well, I was close. Warning. That looks dangerous. This energy conductor unit has been damaged. Use caution when approaching the arching electricity. Okay, so if we touch it, we get hurt. A specimen containment breach on deck beta. All crew report for lockdown. Anything else to scan? No? Okay. Yes, I know. Thank you. And now I go. Hey, Carrot Top! How are you? I hear movement. Who's moving? Who's who's making a step? Pupa egg. Uh, uh, parasite egg and pupa stage. It's tough exoskeleton protects it from mother's acidic embryonic fluid. Okay. Morphology unknown. Low life signs detected. This creature appears to be in a state of stasis hibernation. Okay, so it's not the problem. Space pirate status. Severe internal damage detected. Okay, so it's not much of a threat. I get it. I'm just going to keep looking at stuff. Having a fantastic night. Just saw the OBS set up for a friend who my friend group lovingly bullied into streaming. Oh, really? That's cool. <laughs> Lovingly bullied into streaming. That's great. I probably wouldn't have started streaming myself had, like, a friend of mine not talked me into doing it. She's already halfway to affiliate following numbers. Damn! Damn, that's good. That's impressive. Even for me, it took me, like, a month. And that was, like, what, streaming, like, every day I was doing it? Specimen A, Specimen Cell A, Stasis Hibernation, Transference of Phase on Batch 0081 point D complete. Uh, Specimen Cell C, Unknown, Rejection of Phase on Compound Detected. Okay, you're gonna become a problem. Are you, are you going to see me? Oh, you're gonna walk all the way over here, you're gonna see me. Go ahead. All right, let's do this. You can die. What is this? A small energy replaces 10 units. Okay. Can I draw it in? I can. Yep, I almost instantly had the viewer, the average viewer count. It took three weeks 
to push just above the follower count. Yeah, the view, the average view count was my issue originally. When getting to affiliate, it was hard in the beginning. Shit, it's hard just to keep fucking three viewers now. Uh, but that was also well after I started watching. Yeah, it was. Uh, specimen cell B status unknown. Rejection of phase uncompound detected. Okay, so that one didn't take to it either. Okay, you just need to die. Oh, I disappeared. I didn't get to scan him. Fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. This allows for increased production of corrosive bile. Okay. After mutation, the carapace of the larva becomes rigid. The carapace is quite resilient, able to resist the attacks of many predators. Okay, next one. Combat mutation applications are complete. The primary legs of this creature possess galvanized tips, allowing it to penetrate any known alloy. Well, damn. That's quite the piercing power. Anything else down there? No? Okay. Must be headed to sleep soonish, but I want to watch all the struggles. Well, I mean, that is that is what the VODs are for. A ballistic support needed in specimen block F. Oh, shit. Let me, uh... Yeah, a mechanism auto turret. Use missiles to break outer casing. Okay. Well, that is not the missile. I think it literally just told me to. Okay, that's not right. Nope, that's the more ball. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. There we go. What is this? Missile ammunition. Supp supp resupplies the missile launchers with three rounds of ammo. Only three? It used to do five. And But I can't... <laughs> I can't bully you with affection through VODs. I mean, that is true. Well, also, I normally don't stream this late, but... I really wanted to play this game. Fusion infus phase on infusion stage one. Parasite larva diagnostic mass 1.2, length 0.5, cell structure stable. Phase on infusion stage two, introducing, introducing mutagen into tank. Phase on batch 0732.c, status complete. And what is this? Pirate data? We got some data from the pirates? Log 09.992.3. Zevis has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter clad in metal or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates Orpheon, uh, Syracus, and Vol Paragom were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orpheon is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Hey! Carrot Top, thank you so much for the gift sub! Thank you. I'm sure General Ryder will appreciate it. That's so nice of you. You didn't have to do that. Uh, Orpheon's cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy, but not on restricted, but on restricted fe feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. Yeah, so this, I think Metroid Prime takes place after Super Metroid. Ryder is one of your besties. Ah, okay. Then yeah, I'm sure they appreciate it. Uh, phase on infusion stage three mutagen initiated live larva status stable. I'm probably not gonna stream too long today, cause again, it is late. Can you can you not? Can I pull you in from there? No, I gotta get closer. I'm trying to write read stuff. 
Uh, larva diagnostic, 14.5 mass, 40.3 length, cell structure failing. Morphology and then the specimen has been horribly mutated. There are no life readings. Oh, it is just dead. Oh, yeah, I suppose it is dead. Its entire, like... Its entire chest cavity is, like, open. It has no organs. Excuse you! What's your problem, sir? Specimen solitary holding one. Phase on level unknown. Status, xenotropic life form unstable. Use caution. Okay, well, something in there clearly has an attitude. Morphology plasmite. Info, native of Talon 4. Parasite larvae. Harmless unless encountered in large numbers. Okay, that one's just empty. I am gathering data already. Thank you. Uh, infusion analysis 10.2. Specimens exhibit incredible strength and body mass. Increased when exposed to phase on batch 0732.C. Okay. I think that's what they added to this thing, and then it failed. I don't know. Uh, infusion analysis 12.5. Phase on batch 0003.H increases the acid production of the saliva ducts of larva par uh, parasite larva. Okay, so I guess specific specific phase on batches do specific things. You need this game? I mean, it's on the Switch. It's like 40, 40 bucks though. Which isn't bad, honestly. I have expected the remaster to be more, honestly. Uh, experiment 4... 435.8 Bioform pain tolerance levels at 13% and holding. Okay, did I read this one? Biohazard waste removal may begin in 3 hours. Phase on radiation readings must be reported to Deck Commander before batch disposal. Okay, is that everything? Nope, I didn't read this. Specimen cell structure failing. Batch 0732.C does not match DNA. Terminating infusion sequence. Oh, okay, so this one, it didn't it didn't agree with this one, so they stopped it. But the creature was already mutated, so it died. Okay. That's not bad, considering this is a flagship franchise. Yeah! Well, it's also not bad. Like, it's interesting that they chose to remaster Metroid Prime. Because there's been no actual news about Metroid Prime recently. Like, the last we heard of a Metroid Prime was, uh... Well, the last thing Metroid did was Metroid Dread, which is on the Switch as well, which I do want to play. I mean, I have played it, and I'm about... And I and I got to, like, the end of it, but then I stopped playing it, because I didn't want it to end. Um, I might do that series on the channel at some point. Um... Metroid Dread is the direct sequel to Metroid Fusion. So... This... Them choosing to release Metroid... Uh, oh yeah, Kitty is here. Them choosing to remaster Metroid Prime is interesting because people are eagerly awaiting uh, any news of Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime was, 4 was announced in, like, 2017 or whatever. And then development on it got... Uh, one team was just doing the developing. And then the developing got completely restarted by the original makers of Metroid Prime, Retro Studios. So they weren't originally going to be the ones uh, developing Metroid Prime 4. It was this other team. But when it wasn't up to, like, what it needed to be... Retro Studios scrapped it and started remaking it from scratch. And so with it back in the hands, thank you for the hydrate, with it back in the hands of Retro Studios, who did, you know, the first two, and the, well, the, the, the other Metroid Prime games, I have very high hopes for it. And I am uh, eagerly awaiting uh, any news of Metroid Prime 4. Oh, hello, we got another pirate? You alive? Severe internal damage detected? I think you're alive, but you won't be for long. Blow. Oh, you're alive too? Let me let me get a scan of you real quick. 
Brain hemorrhage detected. Creature's aim will be hindered. Avoid damage by using quick movements. Okay, well, that's not going to be me. I need to strafe more. Let me just draw on this energy. I took way more damage than I needed to, but that's fine. Uh, phase on level toxic, hermetic seal holding. Okay. Uh, War Wasp, native of Talon 4. Oh shit, there's more creatures? Plated Parasite Larva, native of Talon 4. Zoomer, native of Talon 4. I mean, I think they are native to other th other places too. I think Zoomer's a pretty, uh, pretty common, uh, a pretty common, uh, an enemy. You have a request. What is your request, sir? What can I do for you? Oh, hi. You look very not hurt. Minimal injuries assessed. Use caution. Maximum firepower recommended. Okay. Wait, how do I do the strafing? Ah, there we go. I can just hit B. Okay. Okay, you're dead. Give me that energy. Oh, is that another one alive? Yes, there's a door. But let, 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 let me let me let me see the dude. Acid burns have welded the joints of the exoskeleton. Ooh, that sounds painful. Yeah, let me put you out of your misery. There we go. Almost back at full health. Uh, wait on the kitty treat until you wake up in the morning. Until I wake up? Why? Because, I mean, I could just give it to her now. It is an odd request. I mean, I'll do it, but... Uh, Shriek Bat, native of Talon 4. Another plated parasite. A solitaire holding 3. Nor phase on level normal. Status for medic seal holding. Okay. And what about this one? Late night treats, perhaps not so good for the kitty digestion. Uh, probably not, but I mean, she did already have treats uh, at the near the start of the stream. Because somebody redeemed some. Uh, I shriek that native of Talon 4. Okay. Uh, and here? Sesamin, solitary holding 5. Empty. Okay, so that one's empty. There's nothing in there. Alright, let's go. Anything in here? Oh, we have things on the walls. Security codes on all the turrets are changed every other lunar cycle. Using improper codes may result in, ter in turret activation. So you will die. Obstruction detected in reactor ventilation system. Engineering crew report to freight lift at corridor immediately. What else do we have here? No, give me this one. Uh, ventilation covers may become superheated if airflow is restricted. Unusual thermal readings should be reported to the deck engineer on duty. Okay. And I read that one? Yes, I did. That was the last? Okay, we're good. Oh, hi. Not, not, wrong button. Getting way more hurt than I need to. God, it's going to take some getting used to. Because, like, I want to hit Y for the missiles, but it's not Y. Uh, access to the game approved. Step into the long ramp. Okay. And what happened to you, sir? Death caused by severe lacerations to the abdomen. I see. Okay. Okay, we're going down. Ah, yes, this door. Oh, hi. Minimal injuries assessed. Maximum firepower. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. 
gotcha. Death caused by severe laceration to the abdomen. Death caused by removal of internal organs. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> you kind of need your organs. Let me get this energy. This device does not seem to be functional. There must be something on the nearby wall that can activate it. It's tightly sealed. All right, let's scan this. Insert, insert metallic sphere. Oh, you mean me? Door is unlocked. So before I got my computer upgrades on the original Metroid, my game, no matter what I did, my game would freeze the second I went through this door. I could open it, fine, but the minute I stepped through it, the game would freeze. Ah, you fucker. Oh, is it on a timer? I didn't know it was on a timer. It's never just closed like that before. Okay, but that's fine. Whatever. And charge beam can be used to draw on pickups. Yeah, I gathered that. Death caused by severe laceration. Subject looks like it has been partially eaten. Oh, great. Uh, death caused by acid burns to the face. It sounds painful. Dead. <laughs> this creature looks like it struggled to get through this door. Okay. Uh, death caused by cranial trauma. So, his head was beaten in? Okay, so we can go through there. Oh, we have a save station. Okay, cool. Save... Save station. Step into these stations to save your game and fully restore your energy. Let's do it. Do you want to save? Yes. Good. I can bounce. Watch me bounce. Which one is it? That's the bomb. There we go. I can bounce. No, don't don't you dare, you motherfucker. Open the door. I ain't got time for this. Hold up. All right. So let's open the door again. And this time we go. Let's see how badly I do with this. Here we are. We got dead mans everywhere. Creatures still contain a heat signal. They have not been here for very long. Uh, no life signs. Uh, analysis detects large amounts of blood missing from the carcasses. The bodies may have been used for nourishment. Pattern consistent with predator behavior. Also, they are missing all their fluids. Oh, here we go. Ah, look at it! The Parasite Queen. Damn, it looks so good! Okay. Wait, first we gotta scan it. Scanning bosses takes fucking forever. Parasite Queen. Parasite female genetically enhanced by unknown means. The weak spot has been detected in the creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. 
Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen. Origins unknown. Creature exhibits the ability to fire weapon-grade blasts of energy from its mouth, a trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the parasites have begun bioengineering, uh, begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. I mean, clearly. Uh, so we gotta strafe around this thing, and we gotta shoot the hell out of it. Okay, you're gonna mess around with the shield. Nope. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Haha, <laughs> how'd you like that? Right in the side of the face. Are oh, you gonna fire your 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 beam again? Okay. Oh, is that it? Okay, bye! Are you dead? Yep, you dead? Damn, we didn't even get hit. Oh shit, we gotta go. Oh damn, I don't have time to scan. We gotta go, we gotta go right now. Yeah, what do I have? I'm fucking wasting time scanning for. Because I don't think there's actually anything important. I mean, I think you have a decent... You have, like, seven minutes to get out. <laughs> Turret disabled. Yeah, there would have been a turret right here. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! This creature is deceased. The creature's incubation period was prematurely terminated. The shell is not yet fully hardened. And these suckers got fucked up. Uh, containment seal breached. Larva, vital signs critical. Secure area and terminate specimen. Oh, so they would have killed it anyway. Okay. Oh shit, we got live. We got live men up here. You can die. Are we done? Okay. Okay, I guess we're going that way. The parasite. Okay. Ow, they hurt. They hurt, kind of. Damn, there's so many of them! Jesus Christ! We gotta go. Damn, these suckers trying to eat me. We got four and a half minutes. Little suckers are everywhere! Oh, hell no. You can fuck right off, sir. Give me those. Ow. Not nah, screw these little shits. Damn. 
down to like three and a half minutes. Oh shit! Uh, okay. Ah, here we go. No, don't go into fucking more fall. Fire, thank you. I'm taking this so casually. Uh, we gotta go. Oh shit, what do we have here? I didn't get to scan it. Oh shit! It's Ridley! It's Meta Ridley! Hey, why are you running? She's like, damn! He got away! You know, I liked it in Prime, in Prime 3, where you actually had to, like, you know, uh, do, like, the flick to, to, um... Subject Meta Ridley, weapon upgrade, weapon update complete, Stinger Ballistics online, Plasma Fuel Cell online. Okay, what'd the other one say? Uh, Cerebral Casing Stable, Exoskeleton Steel, Seal Holding, Begin Umbilical Retraction. I'll say they were like, they were like uh, enhancing him and shit here. Okay, we gotta go. No, not no more fault. Scan! Turret disabled! Access the deck. Alpha approved. Step in the hologram. And this is when everything goes boom. Damn! Did you see the suit dissolve? It freaking dissolved! That was so cool! Various suit malfunction. Morph ball malfunction. Missile malfunction. Charge beam malfunction. Grapple beam malfunction. Yo, we just got the basic shit, but the way it just dissolved, that was so cool. Uh, we got like two minutes. We gotta go. Uh, this way. No? Room is depressurizing. Yeah, okay. Depressurization complete. The suit just freaking dissolved, man! That was such a neat effect! We gotta go. We gotta get out. We just got the regular power suit now. Look at her, even though she lost, like, all of her equipment, she's still ready to beat the shit out of Ridley. She's like, we gotta go after him. Chase- computer, chase his ass. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Begin landing sequence. Yo. Let's go. Oh my god, look at the textures. This looks... If Oh my god. Like, I know I'm freaking out, but... If you haven't seen the original game... Like, this wouldn't seem that impressive to you. But I've played through the original game so many times, and this looks amazing compared to it. Talon Overworld. Here we are, boys, on an unknown planet. New extras unlocked in the main menu. Do you want to save? Hell yes, I'll save. Game has been saved. Damn. This place looks so good.
even the rain has sounds. Oh, I didn't mean to step into it. Nah, fam, I just saved. I'm good. Yo, look at the foliage. It looks so good. And the water. You got ripples from the beam. Okay. Right. Scan. I can scan the gunship now. Hunter class gunship registered to Samus Aaron. You can return to your gunship to recharge energy, reload weapons, and save the progress in the game. And what are you? Red Starburst. Edible flowers bloom seasonally. Considered a delicacy in many territories. Oh, good. So we can just grab some if we feel like getting a snack. Good to know. <clears throat> Speaking of snacks, I might, uh, I might, I might go and grab something here. Look at all the rain on your hand as you aim around. Wait, can I put my hand on my gun? Oh yeah, I can. Holy shit. Yeah, just look at the rain hit the gun. It was not like that in the original game. It looks so good. So if you just stay stationary, she just rests her hand on her gun right there. But then once you start moving, she takes her hand off of it. Okay, so... Well, there's a door down there. But let's see what's here first. Oh, what is this? This lichen seems to be giving off little levels of radiation. No matches found in flora and fauna data bank. Oh, uh, okay. Should I be concerned about that? Uh, unknown radiation does not sound good. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, what are you? Ow! A seedling, plant-based ground feeder. Dorsal spines can be ejected in self-defense. Oh, so that's what the hell you're shooting at me. Hey, screw you, buddy. Oh, shit. I don't have my charge beam. I can't draw on the power-ups. Shit. Uh, Morphology tangleweed. Plant life with basic sentience. Retracted into the ground if threatened. Okay, so it doesn't hurt. It just kind of hinders my movements. Okay, so I can go there. What? I Aw, oh, it disappeared. Used to be you only put your hand on the gun. Yeah, exactly. But now she just, she just automatically does it when you put your hand on your gun. And she takes it off when you start moving around. Because I can't just randomly aim in a, in a direction anymore. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure you can if I switch to uh, classic controls. And what do we have here? What are you? Beetle, burring insect with resilient carapace, extremely aggressive. The insect's massive mouth enables it to, ru to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds. Above ground, beetles can cover... Short distances rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. Oh, and I suppose that includes me. Look, buddy, I didn't mean to be here. I'm just looking around. No need to get pissed off at me. Ah, uh, satyrine. Small iridescent mushroom. Typically grows in the dark, in dark, dank, dark regions. So it's a dank shroom? There, there should be something else I can get here.
Because it's the most basic item. I should be able to get it. Just gotta figure out where the hell it is. Tangleweed. Oh yeah, I don't have my morph ball either. Shit. Okay, I know one of these doors. Damn it, stop. Let me do the thing. Okay, so it's one of those three doors. It's not the one at the bottom, I know that. It's either... It's one of the ones in the top. So, it's either that door, or it's that door. Neither of which I think I can really activate, or get to. Am I stuck? No. She jumps so high when you get near the ship. But I don't think you can reach the ledge from here. No, you can't. I think it's that door, actually. Sleep time? Alright, Carrot. Get some rest. Shit, do I really not remember where I need to go first? Oh, heck, man. Okay, I guess let's go through here. New creatures entry. Blast cap. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic, toxic fungal cap may explode if agitated. Poisonous flesh of the blast cap keeps it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Okay, well, explode. We'll see if I care. Okay, so I can't even go that way. Because I don't have the morph ball yet. Okay. So we go one of the other ways. One of the only other two ways that we can access. So I think I'm going to go through this door. Oh, I see you're back for more. And what are you? Sap sack. Chemical reaction within sack produces violent explosion when agitated. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of extinction. The evolution of an explosive cap sack saved it. Now only braver indigenous... Or ingenious creatures dare to devour it. Also, it, it just explodes. And what is you? Oh, it's the zoomer! Anchors itself to walls and other surfaces. Avoid contact with spikes. A base nerve center now located directly above the zoomer's mandibits detects nutrients. Sharp spines protect it from casual predators. But the lack of a reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. In other words, you can shoot it. And what are you? Gemer, wall crawling mollusk with retractable spikes. The gemer is an and is an evolutionary offshoot of the zoomer family. When threatened, it extends its lethal spikes and retracts its head deep into its armored carapace. Okay, okay, is it also susceptible to being shot? No, it is not. Okay, good to know. So I'll just wait for you to do your thing. 
and jump. What the hell are you? Ow. Ah, uh, blood flower. Able to eject toxic spores. Toxins are poisonous even to the blood flower itself. Three mouth nodules. Pre no, no. Nodules? Protrude from the stalk between beneath the flower. Each with a rudimentary brain cluster and the ability to spew toxic fumes at anything within a five meter radius. Um, the spores ejected from the stigma at the center of the flower are sufficient enough to kill this creature if they explode in its vicinity. Okay, well, what happens if I shoot the flower? Blow. Okay, it dies. Can can I get out of the water, please? I seem to be stuck in the water. God, man, mobility sucks without the gravity suit. What is this? A blast shield on the door blocking access. Analysis indicates the blast shield is vulnerable to be is invulnerable to beam weapons. Explosive weapons may damage it. Okay, so I guess we're not going this way. Great. This has been such a beneficial uh, venture. We have made so much progress. Ow! How dare you! And what are you? Large energy replaces 20 units of energy. It used to replace... It used to replenish 30. That only replaces 10. Or 20. The stone surface... The stone surface is like and grows on appears too smooth to be natural. Oh? Tree appears to be healthy, ring dating approximate age over 200 years. Okay, so where are we going? Wait, what the hell is this? Access to Chozo Ruins West granted. Please step into the hologram. Do we even want to go there yet? I mean, because I can still go in that. Let's go in the other room first, and then we'll, like, come back here. Ow, you asshole. You fucking attack me. Ignore them. We can leave if we're fast enough. Get through the door. Okay, so I went through that door. God, everything just looks so fucking good in this game. So good. Can, can you jump up the... What the fuck? There we go. Okay, back and full. Yeah, what was this? Impact Crater. It looks like there's some kind of temple. What is this thing? Pirate data! Space pirate data... Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Log 10.38... 
308.0. Field reports are in on our age structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon 4. Studies show the structure project projects a containment field. This structure bars access to a prime source of energy within the deep crater. The science team believes that the field is powered by a large number of, Chozo's, of strange Chozo artifacts. We have found some of these relics, and studies on them have begun. As this field could hinder future energy production operations on Talon 4, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifacts, it will be done. Okay, so they found artifacts of some kind. Oh, great, there's another blast shield. I can't go over there. All right, fine, I guess we're going down the elevator. We're going to the ruins. Damn, do you really not get the double jump right away? I seem to always remember getting the double jump like as soon as you landed. Okay, fuckers, let's go. You can die. I can't even use my, uh, use my morph ball to cruise around. Because I don't have it yet. Can you die? Thank you. It's been years. I mean, it's been a couple of years since I played it. Since I played it last, because I played the original on the channel. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't need to go that way. I just need to go over here. Ow, you little shit. I was going to let you live. But now you die. Because fuck you. Okay, so I guess we're going to Chozo Ruins West. I see nowhere else to go. Elevator cutscene? I think so. Man. These textures look so good. Access to Talon Overworld North. Granted, please step into the hologram. No, I don't think I will. I think I will continue on my way. Data received? Uncoming scan data? Abnormal seismic, seismic activity detected. Seismic disturbance ruins at the site. Okay, where? Seismic activity detected at the hive totem? Okay, so I guess we have to go there. More beetles? You all want to die? Oh, what is that? Chozo lore? Chozo script translated. The history of the Chozo sketches back to ancient times. So far into the fog of the past that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing is clear, however. The Chozo, who colonized Talon IV, made a conscious choice to... Es... 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 es eschew? Eschew, I guess. I'm not sure what that word is. Hold on. Let me let me see what that word is. Phone, can 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 you do the thing for me? As yeah, as you. What 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 the fuck is this word? Uh, avoid using, deliberately avoid using, or abstain from. Is you to do without? Or spurn in favor of an alternate. Okay, so they didn't want a... Ci so these specific ones didn't want a civilization of advanced technology. 
this this particular group of them because the chozos were a race of of a, it were an extremely technologically advanced race I mean, hell, they made the fucking... They made the power suit that Sam and wear, Samus wears in the first place. So I guess this particular group of them that settled on this planet, they chose... They chose to not uh, have, like, their civilization uh, be, a, be revolved around the advanced technology that the rest of them did. We Chozo chose to live in harmony with nature... Guided by the providence of the universe, providence of the universe, we believe we will spend peaceful days here and plan to leave our words from time to time. Yeah, so I guess this particular group of them didn't want to be like super technologically advanced like the rest of them were. The Chozo Ruins. I hear item pickups. That... That sound. Oh shit, enemies! Die! Die! Where, where are you gonna pop up? Die! Okay, this sound, right here. You hear it? That, like, humming? That means there's an item pickup somewhere. It sounds like it's in that tree. Wait, can you still shoot the birds? Oh god, you can! You could always shoot the birds in the original game. And they burst into feathers. That's great. Okay, so there's a blast shield on that one. So I can't go that way. What do we have here? Grapple point is too far away to use. Well, I don't have my grapple beam anyway. There's a malfunction. It doesn't work anymore. Am I going to get another one? Maybe. The ledge this object rests on cannot be reached from this room. Okay, how about the other thing? Door can only be opened from the other side. Well, that's an that's an E tank. Well, that is what that is. That is that would be an energy tank that will increase my maximum energy by one hundred, I think. Uh, scan the massive tree. I will scan the massive tree. Large branches have been forcibly intertwined, forming to be what looks like a bridge structure. Okay. Oh, I can scan the tree. This tree seems to be weakened due to cellular decomposition. Okay, so maybe there's a way to blast through it somehow? What is this? War Wasp Hive. Primary War Wasp dwelling. Weapon on only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. War Wasps built their homes over existing crevices. Using whatever materials are close at hand, they carry building fragments to the construction site with their forelegs and glue them into place with adhesive secreted from their abdomens. Okay. But yeah, like, my beam just kind of bounced off. Like, you can do something with that. Your beam only bounces off of, like, doors and shit that it can't open. Oh, hey, what is this? This object rests at the top of a very smooth, inclined slope. Well, I, I, I don't think I can get to that. I don't think I can get to get to that yet at all. What is this? This etching resembles a bird-like creature. These leaves appear to be unnaturally dried and withered. Okay, well that doesn't sound good. Is the forestry in this a in the is the forestry? And foliage in this area dying for some reason? Well, this seems to be the only door we can go through, so I guess we'll go through this door. Oh god, what are you? The scarab. Exploding parasites that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Scarabs think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of their swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block its progress by embedding themselves in the floors and walls. 
Embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna shoot you. There we go. Problem solved. And what are you? Morphology Ion. A mobile organism entirely composed of ocular tissue. Capable of launching sustained energy beams when active, the ion is sensitive to the light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. So if I shoot them, okay. Can you close? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if I like the duel too much, though. I mean, the dual, the dual controls are okay. And what is this going to do? That's even, like, worse. Oh, that's how I do it. Okay. They look like they have cat eyes. Yeah, kinda. Do I even like this control scheme, though? I mean, it's kinda neat, but... I have to like, I have to like hit uh, hit the R button every time I want to like re reset it. I have to like look over here and then let go to like reset my position, uh, the position of my hand. I might either go back to the dual one or just stick with classic. Yeah, this is based on the original GameCube version where you just. Use that to aim, and then you could aim. You could look up or down. But that seems so... Oh, hi. Can you not? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have... Do I have the thing? I do have the thing. I haven't used this in a while. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but sure. Can you unhook, please? There we go. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, see, that's a little bit better. I, I don't know why, but having, like, both of my hands together, it just feels a bit more natural to me. I mean, I could just be crazy, but... Uh, can you scan? Oh, there we go. Chose a lure. Chozo script translated. Many long years have passed since we, Chozo, first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the state it is this belief of of many Chozo it is the belief of many Chozo sages that the truths of the universe hide within the crumbling currents of time's flow. Even as we search for the answers there, however, we 
find illuminate illumination in other unexpected places. We know not how the ability has come to us, but recently many Chozo have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations of flood. Inexplicable, inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burgeoning harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps finally, the universe's secrets are becoming known to us. Okay, so they started developing, in like, uh, uh, like mysterious powers and abilities, and like being able to sense things. But I think the Chosen has always been like, they've always had like mysterious powers to them. Uh, elevated toxicity levels found in tree bark. Scans indicate a poisoned water source within four meters of tree base. Oh, so poisonous water. Unusually high concentrations of poison identified in tree leaves. Okay, that doesn't sound good. This object resides at the end of a high channel set into the wall. Okay. Structural weakness detected in the sandstone block. Okay. I can't do anything with that, though. Structural integrity of metal is stable. No flaws detected. Okay, what else is here? Ornate wall hanging with a highly reflective surface. It does not appear important. Uh, okay. Can I, can I get up? Uh, what? Hello? Uh, War Wasp. Airborne insect equipped with a venom stinger capable of shearing steel. Jeez. The war wasp rarely strays far from its hive unless it is pursuing an immediate threat. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing its enemy with its stinger extended. Fast working toxins from the stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. Are they a threat to me? Yes, they are. Damn, and I still don't have my morph ball. I mean, my charge beam. Can I get that? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, at least we got our energy back. There's another door here. Ah, a save station. This is for two it is. Yes, we will save. And what is here? The only translatable symbol detected on this struck sculpture is the word Chozo. Chozo sculpture crafted in honor of Talon Star. Okay, same thing. Word Chozo. No, get the get get that. Petrified organic matter looks like a rock carved in the shape of an eye. Oh, is it like a petrified one of those eye things? The the ion? And you, all of you are in the way. There are so many of you. Why are there so many of you? Get out of here. In my way. How dare you? What do we have here? Analysis indicates significant amounts of water once present in this location. Oh, so there was a bunch of water here? Oh yeah, maybe this was like a... Uh... I don't know, like a bath area or something. Looks like there could have been water here. Like where you come and where you like step down and you can just like sit and chill in the water. Okay, more of you fuckers. I really wish I had my charge beam. I mean, we'll get it fairly soon, but... Not soon enough, in my opinion. Toxicity levels of this water are very high. Contact with the contaminous, contaminated liquid, extremely hazardous. Okay, so don't touch the water. Got you. Stress points 
present in brin brinestone wall. Concussive blast may shatter it. Well, I do not have a concussive blast currently. Small tunnel leads back behind the wall. The width of the opening is approximately one meter in diameter. Okay, well that does nothing for me. Jump and jump and jump. So we'll have to come back to this room. Uh, hello, what are you? Come here. No. Ow. That was rude. What are you? Plasmite. Small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attracted to sources of heat, thriving on the energy present there. They emit light when hunting and will expel small bursts of thermal energy when threatened. Okay, well, you can die. You can be threatened by me. Okay, that's more tangleweed. That's fine. Can I break this? I can break this. It has energy in it. Lovely. Uh, okay, nothing to scan here. Warning? What is... What, what are you warning about? Oh, you're warning me because of the water, aren't you? Yeah, okay. You don't like me being near the water. Because it's toxic. Oh, damn! We're here! We are at the hive totem. Okay. What do we have here? Drain... Drainage possessing traces of the high of the high level toxins. Okay. This elevated bridge looks worn but functional. This appears to be it appears this item can only be reached by using the elevated bridge. Mechanical device appears to be inactive. Life forms detected within the hollows of machine. Well that does not sound good. What is that item? What is that item, I wonder? Oh, uh, it won't tell me. Okay, well, this doesn't bode well. Mechanoid. Hive Mecha. Security Hive Mecha Security Unit programmed to work with predatory hive dwellers. A design flaw makes the shielding on the hive mecha weak around their access ports. These units are second generation combat drones able to interface with organic units at a higher level. They train, shelter, and work with hive dwelling predators unarmed. They rely on their hive beasts to handle any threats. Damn it, I need to scan you. Hold still. Ram War Wasp. Airborne Predator circles its prey and then strikes. War Wasps are, only the spe are the only species on Talon 4 to evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp, dark places, a Ram War Wasp emerge in small groups when threatened and circle their, prey their enemy at high speeds, disorienting. Striking from all sides is a single intelligence. They can fell huge organisms. Okay, well, uh, that's just not good. Ow. Dead. Okay, step one. Ah, wow, that one missed me. Okay. Okay, missed again. Good. Where, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Dead. Okay, good. Two down. Ow. Okay.
Okay, that one missed. Okay, where are you going? Behind me. Is that is that it? Are we done? Are we good? Looks like we're good. Give me that item. The missile launcher. Damn, look at it. Yeah. Missile launcher acquired. Now we can get through blast doors. So as a, so in the original as a kid. So you know the old shape of the GameCube controllers, right? Like it didn't have it was kind of similar, but it had the one there's a certain way you could hold it. Right? So when I was a kid, um whenever she would get whenever she'd get a new uh like weapon uh, in this game, she does the she swings her arm cannon up, and then kind of does that. I would always mimic it with uh, while holding the controller. Okay, so what? Yeah, okay, it's that button. I actually have less missiles now than I did at the start of the game when I still had the missile launcher. And what do we have here? Missile ammunition. Resupplies the missile launcher with five rounds. Okay, this one, this one's different from the other one. Energy tank. This item permanently increases your maximum energy by 100 units. Okay, let's grab these. Energy tank acquired. Oh, but I can't go this way because I don't have the morph ball. Okay, that's fine. Oh. So this part of the ceiling collapsed, allowing us to jump back up here. All right. I like it. Let's take care of that. <sighs> Fucking the bees! Yes, I can destroy that with missiles now. Ah, shit, get out of the water. What a fucker. Wait, what's that made of? Brinestone. Ha ha ha, there we go. And what do we have here? Missile expansion. Increases the number of missiles you can carry by five. Okay, we need that. Missile expansion acquired. So it sounds like there's another power up back there, but I can't get back there because I don't have the morph ball. But we can now go this way. A map station. Okay. Let's get a map. Downloaded the map. Let's go. Okay, so where are we? Let's see, we, gray is missile doors. So we can now get through missile doors. So as far as our next room to go would be here. Because that's sealed behind a missile door. All right. You got your missiles back? Yeah, I just got them actually. Already picked up a nice missile expansion too. And so now we gotta make our way back. 
All of you little shits. Die. Dude, can you hear that? Her steps sound so good. Like, even something is, as, as, as small and insignificant as the sound of her footsteps sounds so good than it did in the original. Okay, well, you're a problem. I'm gonna need you to not do that. Wait, aren't you a new thing now? Ruined War Wasp Hive. War Wasps are resourceful insects. The destruction of a hive will not deter the survivals from rebuilding a new home. Surviving War Wasps will defend new sites with their lives until the hive is complete. Okay, I can't reach those though, can I? I can't. They are just out of reach. Shit. Alright, well, that's a problem. Maybe I should have let some of them get lower before I killed them all. Let's go ahead and save, since we have the map and the missile launcher now. Oh, yes, these things. You don't see me. You see nothing. And you see nothing. You little... Come on, drop me some missiles. There we go, that's what I want. Cool, now we're back up to 10 missiles. Excellent. That could not have gone better. Okay, you can back the fuck up. And fuck user. And fuck user. Oh? You want some too? There's a bee. Because there's a hive right there. But that's not an immediate concern. Because as long as we're down here, it won't bother us. These guys, on the other hand, want to pick a fight. One is bigger than the other. Die. I should have waited till I shot the door to pick that up. But whatever. It's fine. I'm sure I'll get more from these fuckers. Yep. Got some right there. Ow. Why y'all gotta be that way, man? Like, I'm just passing through. I ain't trying to kill you, but y'all getting in my way. I mean, they're great fodder for pickups. Yeah, see, that's great fodder. What do we have here? Magnetic rail system track detected. It appears to be active. Spider ball technology required to access track. Spider ball. Yeah, we don't get that until much later. Oh, is that what I think it is? The morph ball. We need to get that. We need to get that right now. But let's keep looking around for just a sec. Aha, what is this? Multiple microscopic fractures found through sandstone wall st structure. Sandstone. Simple light sources. Okay, is sandstorm missiles or the bombs? Okay, so it's not missiles. All right, that's fine. 
Oh no! It's sealed. We can't get to it now. There are so many! Okay, we're good. Oh shit, what are you? Damn, those textures though, look so good. Ow, that hurt a lot. Why do you hurt so much? Plated beetle, well-armored, burring insect, vulnerable only in the rear abdomen. Features thick cranial uh, plating can repel frontal attacks. This gives it an advantage in combat, allowing it to make ramming attacks, only surfacing when it detects vibrations above. And then it maneuvers itself so as to always face its rival, keeping its exposed abdomen protected. Oh, so the key to you is strafing. Okay. You want to charge at me? Come on. Come charge at me. Ho ho. Come on. Aw, oh, damn, I missed. Come on. Come on. Damn, I missed again. I was too slow. Damn it. It closed. Damn, it turns around so quick. There we go. Got one shot in. There we go. Two shots. You done, Saka. Now we can get the morph ball. Yeah, we got the morph ball back. Morph ball acquired. New extras unlocked. Great. So now we can roll around. Look at the energy trail. It's so good. Wait, do I already have spring ball? Oh, no, I don't. Wait, is the spring ball? Is the spring ball another ability? Yeah, cuz I can't I can't jump currently. And you you could well, before I could just jump with the ball, but I can't do that anymore apparently. Anyway, we have that. So, I guess back we go. gonna pop out of the ground okay so now where can we go oh I can go this way That wasp needs to die. Let's go ahead and take care of that. And that.
And so now we can go through here. Oh, more of you. Great. Good thing you guys drop so much stuff. Oh yeah, I can go this way now. Because we have the morph ball. Now where are we? More rail systems. No structural weakness detected in metal work. Okay. Plasmites are here. Fountain choked by overgrowth. Toxin levels are high. Okay. And what do we have here? New Chozo lore? Don't mind if I do. The surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed our expectation. We Chozo have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and, ho and wait for the day when a power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible to collect all the pieces of the great poison. To collect all the pieces of the great poison? As it is already spread, seeping into the planet and hardening. Toxicity levels are critical. Contact with contaminated water, extremely hazardous. Yeah, I gathered that already. Okay, so it looks like that's the way to go. So we just don't touch the water. Easy peasy. It appears we have two possible means of travel. I will go this way. More of these mushrooms. Terrain analysis complete. Toxin and toxin water toxin levels near 90% in local water supply. So that water is 90% toxic. Okay, that shit'll kill you. Lethal toxin waters recorded. All waterborne microscopic like forms eradicated. 100% extinction rate predicted for local ecosystem within three cycle period. Damn. Intense heat readings detected behind this door. Look at how the look at how the visor like fogs up. Ah, heat level critical. Okay, so we can't go that way. We'll have to come back. At some point. When decay flows, the hatchling will walk a poisoned path to the source. The time of prophecy draws ever closer. It is said that when the planet when the plants wilt and the creatures change and all life fades, the newborn will descend from the sky. Hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. They're talking about some newborn and some hatchling. Okay, so we can't go that way. So it looks like we're going this way. Plasmite, you're going to be a problem if you get in the way. And what are you? Shriek Bat, Territorial Ceiling Dweller. Body temperature peaks at 121 degrees centigrade. Shriek Bats have high, in high internal temperature, making them easy to spot with thermal imaging. They roost on cave ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. Okay, what happens if I shoot them? They die. And I am now back in full health. Oh, a blast door? That won't stop me. Hello? Reaper vine. Rock. 
powerful rock dwelling tentacle. A single eye upon the reaper vine keeps a constant vigil, but his vision is limited to ten meters. A scythe-like appendage on the tip is honed to lethal sharpness. The reaper vine will swing its blade wildly at anything and enters its own perception. You scan 25% of the logbook already. Damn. That texture, though, it never blinked. I don't think it ever blinked in uh, the original game. And what's that? Analysis indicates the presence of a runic symbol. That's fine, but what is it? Did I take too long? Ow, I did. Ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Fucking water! Jesus Christ! Fucking assholes. I'm just trying to look at shit. And everything's trying to kill me. Oh, fuck you, assholes. Okay, what else can I look at here? I can't believe I'm almost dead from that. Jesus Christ. What do we have here? This runic symbol has been activated. Four runic symbols in this room must be activated. That's just missiles. I don't need to go down there for the missiles. If it was health, I'd risk it. But that's not really what I need right now. Sandstone. I can't do anything with sandstone. This runic symbol has been activated from over here. Oh, we're going to nip that in the ass right now. Actually, wait. What a great idea. I can get energy from these. Come on, pump out some more. Can I get some more, please? Please, sir, can I have another? Oh, we have another runic symbol here. Okay. I didn't even notice that one. Also, there's a blast door down there. Well, I didn't actually mean to shoot that, but okay. It looks like that goes into this room here and leads that way. Which actually might be the way I need to go. Because it doesn't look like I can go any further that way because I can't get past those. Okay, so I guess our option is that way. Huh. I thought I could make it higher, but I can't go that way. Because I don't have the bomb. Alright, that's fine. No, you fucking asshole can die. Fuck you. Open this door. Now where are we? More shriek bats? Okay. The path of corruption leads ever higher. I hear an item. Ow. Asshole. What have we got here? Violent breach in floor structure caused large scare collapse. Okay. 
Toxicity levels elevated. Analysis indicates proximity to source less than 300 meters. So we're getting closer to the source of it. That which fouls the waters seeks the sun. Well, that could have been avoided if I was a bit faster at my reflexes. The great poison comes from Talon's core. Toxicity the level criticals, contact with Kenda. Yeah, we already know that. Truth awaits you in a sacred hall. This looks like a wall I can break. Ha-ha! Good. Another five missiles. How fortuitous for me. But I was pretty sure back in this other room, like in this room, there's a save station. Yeah, okay, I was right. So yeah, we'll save. Oh, that that thing isn't anything. All right. Oh hell no! You're not gonna jump me right as I come out of the fucking save station, you assholes! I don't play that shit. Nope, don't think so. Can y'all just blow up? Thank you. Oh, but I can't get up there. Fuck. Luminescent cylinders functioning at 80%. Yeah, I can't get up there because I can't jump that high. Nope. Okay. So that's as far as we can go in that room. Oh yeah, I forgot you guys were here already. Yes, I get it. The water's toxic. Don't touch. I'll just let you kill yourself. Now where are we? Ah, oh, fuck you, buddy. I think that water's toxic, too. It's not that deep. But I think if we touch it, it we'll still get hurt. Look, I know I just heard one come out somewhere. Oh, are they above me? They might be. What do we have here? This large metal gate blocks the entrance to the area beyond. Four runic symbols adore its surface. Matching symbols with this room. Matching symbols within this room must be scanned to gain access here. Okay. Well, there's one here. You know, if you think, if you look at this. Kind of looks a lot like the uh, the icon here in the corner, the bottom right corner. Kind of looks like the power the power beam symbol. Got 
get out of the water. There's another symbol here. I did not see that before. Oh, it seems there's one there as well. Okay, I have three of them now. Roots originate over walls. No decomposition detected. Host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. Okay, good for it. Buddy, can you can you can you go, please? Thank you. Okay, now we're up here. Trace sediment indicates water once flowed here. Okay. Yeah, I need you to fuck off. Okay, where the frick is the other symbol? There it is. Yeah, we got them all. The gate has been unlocked. Hey, let's go. Chose a lure. Disaster struck suddenly. We had a vague, dark foreboding, and it came, and it became truth. A meteor appeared from nowhere, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with its vi with the violence of its impact. Its destructive force spent. The fallen star buried itself out rapidly, burned itself out rapidly, and the incident should have faded into memory. But the meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth into the land, a strange energy that clawed at the natural life with a ferocity. That strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded in, expanded to encompass Talon 4 in a night as a spider weaves a web. And what is this? Charge beam! Yeah, let's go! Charge beam online! Let's go! We got our charge beam back. Oh, and now you fuckers are gonna activate. There are so many of you! Also, there's a thing here. Unidentifiable obstruction approximately one meter wide blocks of the hole. Uh, can I missile it? No. Okay. Okay, well, I can't jump back up there, so I'm gonna have to go down. So we got our charge beam back. That's good. That's very good. Oh, they're not up there. Okay. So where do we go now? Oh. 
Do we backtrack? Because we can't really go forward. Because I can't get up there because I can't jump that high. So we can't go up there. We can't access that area yet. We can't get there because it was too hot. Hmm. Well, we got a few abilities back, so... Maybe the thing we should do is backtrack. Oh, you gotta activate them again, huh? Okay. But still, I can only activate three of them. Vast portions of this tree's cellular structure has been consumed by toxin distributed through source water. Okay, yeah, and to water's toxin. Yeah, I get it. Water poison. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Because we can't get past those. I don't have bombs. And I think the bombs are what I need currently. I mean, there's that one over there. Okay, well, I guess we're down here now. I think I need to get back. I need to go to the other side. Go to the door over there. Ow, why? Ow, ow, you hurt so fucking much. Yeah, I need to go over there. No, wait, didn't I just come from there, though? I think I did. Yeah, no, I need to go back this way. No. Wait. Yeah, because they don't have bombs, so I can't go that way. So, we'd have to go back that way, I think. Yeah, we'd have to go back that way. Yeah, so it's that door. Uh, damn. Okay. And fuck you. And a fuck you too. Yeah, it's been activated. Wait, I have the charge beam now. Can I draw them in from that far? No. Wait, did it actually start moving? Oh shit, look at that! Okay. Well, either way, we gotta go back. Because there seems to be nothing else we can do here. It's so good having the power beam back. Okay, check the map. We can't go that way because it was too hot. Right, so our only option is that way. 
you're in the way. Oh, we got incoming scan data. Increased war wasp activity detected. Strong war wasp presence within this region. Where do you want me to go? Wait, where? The burn dome. Okay, you want me to go there? But I don't think I can get back. I don't think I can do... Okay, fine. If that's where it thinks I should go... Then that must be where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, okay, so the gathering hall. That door. I still don't know if I can actually advance at all yet. Because, like, I couldn't jump where I needed to go, so... Like, being here... Unless there's a single platform somewhere that I'm not seeing. Hey, Dippin! Thank you so much for being a subscriber for 29 months. Hey, still at work, trying to stay awake now? I feel you. I'm, I'm starting to feel it myself. We're going on two and a half hours, which is not too terribly long for my streams, but... Um, it is already late. I don't think I can jump on that. Oh, I see. Okay, so I can. It's not going forward. I have to go back. Okay. I see. No, you fuckos can stop. Yeah, and I have the morph ball. Okay. So I'm just stupid. <laughs> I could go this way the whole time. Let me just collect all this. Structural weakness detected throughout sandstone wall. Sandstone. Again, sandstone is not what I can break with missiles, is it? No, it's not. Hello? Wait, this water looks fine. Okay. Nothing to scan in this room? Alright. Should I swing by with... I would freaking love you for that. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. I would absolutely adore you. If you were to do such a thing. Okay, where... What? What is this? Sandstone. Okay, I can't do anything to sandstone, though. Okay, stop with your little eye beam bullshit. Eye is so irritated. Get some, get some clear eyes. Vodrai, red eyes, clear eyes is awesome.
Oh, see, I knew y'all were gonna come at me. Mm, give me them pickups. Okay, so what are we doing here? Yes, water is hot. An active lift platform detected. Its function should return once power has been restored. Not what I was expecting to scan. Okay, so there's a bunch of lift platforms in the water. The water has shorted out the slot mechanism. It is inoperable. Okay. Research data. Lock system engaged. Secure the area to unlock the door. What am I securing the area from? Machine is inactive. Okay. Okay, that's that's toxic water. We're not going that way. We can go this way. Absolutely. I would love that. What the hell are you? Stone Toad. Preys on creatures smaller than itself. Vulnerable only from within. Damn, look at you, though. You look cool. You actually got, like, actual texture on you and shit now. That is so cool. You look so good. Look at those eyes. So there's so much detail. Wait, what? Wh where are we? Where am I now? What is this room? Okay, nothing. Back to Morph Ball. Oh, fuck. Where am I? Oh, that's a problem. Hello? Yes, what are you? Uh, fire? Incinerator drone. Program for high temperature waste disposal. Device schematics indicate a high risk of malfunction when internal power core is damaged. Unit has minimal combat programming, but can defend itself if necessary. This drone's intense heat blasts compensate for its lack of battle prowess. Oh, uh, okay. What am I... Ow, 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 god damn. Okay, fine. I'll shoot a missile at it. What the hell are you? Barbed war wasps. Airborne insect with the ability to launch the, its stinger at prey. A highly aggressive member of the war wasp family. This insect can propel at the tip of its stinger up to 20 meters. Okay. It was the double cheese with Cajun fries. Hell yes. Hell yes it was. Um, Can I also get like a small thing of uh, onion rings too? If you don't mind. The stinger tips. Thank you so much. Love you so much. You're awesome. Uh, the stinger tips regrow seconds after launch and contain an acidic compound designed to pre-digest prey. Okay, so you're an issue. I need to kill you. You need to die. Uh, hive. Primary barb war wasp dwelling. An extremely durable wasp hive can only be destroyed from direct exposure to fire from below. Okay, great. Ow. You fucking suck. Damn it, target the wasp. Oh, great, now it's not vulnerable again. Fuck off. Oh, 
Would you fuck off? Where is the wasp? Where is the wasp? Where is the wasp? Okay, all right. Ow, more fire. Stop! Why are you so close? You don't need to be that close to me. Fuck you. There is no excuse why this fucker should be this close. There! Done! When did you last eat? You sound so desperate. Um, let's see. When did I last eat? Uh... Yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. <laughs> morph ball. Finally, the fucking morph ball bomb. I need that. Okay, let's get it. Hell yeah, we got the bomb. We can do the bomb jump too. Morph ball bomb acquired. Okay, so now that we have the bomb, we can blow up the sandstone things like this fucking wall. Bulao. Oh, and a lovely missile expansion. Blast both of those. Oh, wait, now all of a sudden we have the spring ball back, too? So the regular morph ball gives us the spring ball back. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense because when you get the bomb, you can do a bomb jump. And the spring ball is basically a bomb jump without having to, uh... Without having to launch a bomb. I don't know if you could even like jump like this originally in the in the for, in the original Metro Prime game. Uh go in the tube, thank you. Oh hell. Oh god! I've been eaten. Well, that took that made short work of that. Basic systems appear to be operation. A device was, device should operate once power has been restored. Okay, what do we have here? Standard morph ball slot. This slot is active. Inserting the morph ball and detonating a bomb will usually cause these slots to send electrical impulses that can activate different types of devices. Okay. So if I just hop into this thing, what happens? Ah, it drains the wa Oh, 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 sh oh dear, I have a time limit. You should not give me a time limit. I am not good under pressure. Okay, apparently there's more. Okay, I see, I see, I see. All right. The damn shriek bats fucked me up. Dude, I will be so shocked if I don't fail this. Ah! 
I was right there. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you a piece of shit? Okay, fine. We go back to step two. No, I need you to jump. Thank you. We go for attempt number two now. I can save time because the street bats won't be down won't won't come down to try to kill me again. Oh, but I can sure as fuck fall on my own because I hit the wrong button. That is that's that that is certainly a possibility. I was in it! What the fuck? This is fine. This is fine. I swear, in the original Metroid Prime, it never took me this many attempts to do this. Okay, we watched the same cutscene three times. Now, if I could just not fall or have any sort of bullshittery happen to me, that would be great. So far, so good. Now, get in the slot, activate the bomb, and do the thing. See, boom, third time's a charm. Area secured. Now what's this way? Another magnetic r track. Okay, I can't do anything to that. What does that do? When I hit that button, it highlights the things over there. Oh, wait. How am I even going to switch between those? Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay, so the D-pad normally just switches between your visors. But if you hold that button, that's your beam, so I bet it switches. Okay, it switches between those. Oh, uh, where the fuck am I now? An E tank? Don't mind if I do. Where the fuck are we, though? Somewhere it looks like it would be very hot to be. Can I get a map? I was in the furnace, apparently. Don't ask me how I survived. They tried to cook me alive. It didn't work because I'm in a power suit. They forgot to they forgot to use the can opener. Ah, ha, huh, I can bypass you assholes now. <laughs> Later, suckers.
Now, if only I could get up there. How to get up there? Let's see, if I jump on this. No, I need the, I need double jump for that. Okay. But we can go down here. Let's pop a quick save. Hell yeah. Blam, let's go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're back in this room. But guess what? We got the bombs. Activate that runic symbol. Activate that runic symbol. Go ahead and pre take care of those assholes. Go over here. Activate that symbol. Go morph ball. We can break these bricks now. And I can apparently jump off and kill myself. So that happened. Love that that happened. There we go. What? More bees? Unacceptable? Ow, you little shitbag! You fucking nest. Can I draw that in from here? Yes, I can. Oh, it's a new creature. Venom weed. Poisonous plants that retract into ground if threatened. Venom weeds have evolved to thrive in the habitats of large organi in the habitats of large organisms. They lure prey with brightly colored leaves, then detain it with tiny barbs that deliver powerful toxin. The venom weeds rapidly decompose anything that succumbs in their midst. Okay, well how about you assholes take some of this? I didn't mean to fire that. You know what? You no, know, fuck it. I'll just tank it. It's fine. I didn't need that energy anyway. Can you get out of your morph ball form? Alright, where's the other thing? Aha! It's there. All, all the runes have been activated. The door should open. Okay, what do we have here? Missile? Sand, sandstone. Okay, so more fall. Oh, there's a morph ball opening. Okay. Then leads to a blast door. Which is not Morph Ball. Wow. More Venom Weeds. You cannot. You will not siphon. Asshole. I hate these. Fucking vines. Now where am I? There are more of you. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. Anything to scan in this room? 
No? Okay. That's still the large energy. Oh, what are you? Ultra energy replenishes 100 units of energy. Don't mind if I do. Uh, oh dear. Damn, she did a roll. She rolled the hell out the way. Yo, look at Flagra, man. Those textures, they're so good. One of Flogger's tentacles fills this narrow drainage channel. And now it indicates Flogger's central nervous system is located at the base of the structure. Ow, you hurt. Morphology Flogger. This mutant plant is the source of the toxic water in the ruins. Flogger's growth cycle has been rapidly accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. This exposure has made Flogger's outer shell thick and durable. Its lower root system is unprotective and vulnerable, however. Exploit this flaw when possible. Concentrated weapon fire can daze it for short periods. Mirror ray used to focus sunlight onto creature. Looks like it can be tilted, possibly to take it offline. Yeah, let's 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 get rid of that sunlight. Okay. Let's uh let's do this. Blow. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Man, it looks Flogger looks so cool, man. Okay, now we got two of them. Get dazed, sucker. Where are you gonna fall? You gonna fall over there. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. And get bombed. That's two. Now we got three of them. Okay. You want to get out of my face? The hell out of my face. Don't you... You asshole. Do you think that I got the missile capacity to keep doing this over and over again? Because I don't. I do not have the ammo for this shit. Get fucked. We gotta do it once more. Now we got all four of them active. And he's going to be super pissed. He's gonna start swiping at us for like 50 damage per hit.
You fucking ass. Oh, you can swipe at me all you want, but your sunlight is gone now. Now what are you gonna do? Ow. Rude. You know what? Get blown up. You can die. That's right. Suffer. Look at it. It's trying to sprout, but it can't. And now the fresh, clean water is restored. But damn. The floggers never looked so fucking good, man. Dude. Can I get those pickups? Where are they? Uh, there was items. Wait, what? Scan indicates this network of vines invulnerable to weapons fire. Okay, great. What is this? The various suit. We get our suit back. Look at it. It's so shiny, man. It never looked this fucking shiny. Oh, I'm so blown away about how good this shit looks, man. They oh, they had to have, like, rebuilt this game, nearly. Like, all the graphics from scratch. Because there's no way the original textures looked anywhere near this good. And now the suit upgrade. And she's just there. And then the suit transforms. We got the suit back. Hell yeah. Various suit acquired. Dangerous areas of heat now are now accessible. So we got the heat shielding. So we can go into that other room now. Bro, we got the fucking suit back. Let's go. Look at this shit. Power suit. Power suit is an advanced Chozo exoskeleton modified for use by Samus Aaron. Samus, Samus's notes. The power suit provides life support functions as well as shielded from attack. And is well shielded from attack. The modular nature of the power suit allows for the addition of weapons, visors, and other gear as needed. The power suit shielding loses energy with each hit. Collect energy when possible to keep shielding charged. But now we got the Varia suit. The Varia suit adds increased heat resistance to the power suit. Samus's notes, this modification increases the suit's defensive shielding. While the Varia suit can handle higher extreme, higher temperatures than normal, extreme heat sources and heat-based attacks will still cause damage. Yo, we can zoom in. Look at this shit. Look at the fucking shine on this suit, man. It looks so good. And then we got the energy tank. Uh, energy tanks increase the power level available in your suit's defense screens. Each energy tank increases the suit's energy by 100 units. The more energy tank the suits have, the longer it lasts in hostile situations. All energy tanks are fully recharged at save stations. The gunship has this capability as well. The Morph Ball. Morph Ball changes your suit into a compact muzzle sphere. Samus notes, like the power suit, the Morph Ball is modular. There are several modifications that can be added to improve performance. The Morph Ball Bomb is the default weapon for the Morph Ball. The Morph Ball can be used to break cracked walls and activate certain devices. If the Morph Ball is near a Morph Ball Bomb, when it explodes, it will be popped 
a short distance into the air. This is called a bomb jump. When a morph ball bomb explodes, it must be close to the enemy to be effective. The morph ball bomb can break items made of sandstone or telluric alloy. Okay. We have the arm cannon. We have the power beam. It is the default ca arm cannon. It has the best rate of fire. The power beam can be used to open standard doors. If the shots ricochet, cease fire. The power beam is not working against that target. The power beam is useful to quickly clear an area of weak foes. We have the combat visor. This is your default visor. It provides you with a heads-up display, a HUD, in containing radar, minimap, lock-on reticle, threat assessment, uh, energy gauge, and missile count. Scan visors used to collect data. Some devices will activate when scanned. Samus' notes. Mission critical scan targets are represented with this symbol. It's a red circle. Scanning enemies with this visor can reveal their vulnerabilities. All weapons become inactive while the scan visor is, in it is active. Scan data vital to the success of the mission is downloaded and stored in the logbook section of the pause screen. Okay, we have secondary items. We have the missile launcher. It adds ballistic weapon capability to the arm cannon. Missiles fired with a lock-on will seek their targets. Missiles can destroy objects made from radon or brinestone. There are charge combo enhancements scattered throughout the environment. They use a missile launcher and a charge beam in tandem to fire more effective blasts. Each missile expansion found will increase the number of missiles it, it's possible to carry by five. And we have the charge beam. It increases the damage and effectiveness of the arm cannon. Uh, charge beam has a limited tractor beam capacity. Use it to pull in small objects. There are, yeah, and the charge beam combos. Yep, we already read that. And we have our logbook stuff. Which we've been reading as we obtain them. Yep, we have been reading these as we have been coming across them. Okay. Onward. Dude, I cannot believe how much progress we're making, though. Toxic scans negative. Water is free of poison. Excellent. Oh, shit. We are just straight up in the water now. Granted, you cannot move worth a damn in water. No, they're just tangleweed. Look at all this ultra energy. Hell yeah. What the hell are you? Pulse Bombu. Life form of raw energy. Periodically releases explosive segments. Pulse Bombus are energy beings, invulnerable to most known weapons. Electrical energy cannot can harm them. However, they lack any intelligence beyond an instinctive attraction to charged energy sources. Pulse Bombus produce energy constantly. All excess energy is shed, regardless of who or what may be nearby. Oh, okay, so I can't damage it with a power bomb. Uh, with a power beam. Good to know. Oh, uh, okay. I guess we're just falling all the way down. No, no, fuck you. Take care of all the nests first and then worry about the ones that are out here. More Chozo lore. The cries of this dying land echo in our ears as we, Chozo, watch the great poison seep ever further into the living pulse of the planet. The dark energy sinks into the trees and waters, devouring all life. Peaceful beasts die by the thousands. 
Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutated monstrosities remain small enough to do little harm, but others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. One such beast defiles our sacred fountain, disgorging poison from its foul form, replacing pure flowing water with cascades of creeping death. Even in the face of such horror, we, Chozo, do not turn in fear. We are all that stands in the way of this great poison, and it is our duty to contain it. So, whatever this great poison was, uh, or whatever this great poison is, it caused... It basically made Flagra. So it's what caused uh, whatever creature Flagra was to mutate into what it was, and cause, and like, poison their water supply. This cordite wall hanging appears to be slightly cracked. Cordite? Can I break cordite? I cannot break cordite. Good to know. A decorative object obstructing the path along a magnetic track. Four runic symbols adorn its surface. So, more symbols. Can I scan these? Oculus, wall crawler that generates electric pulses. The Oculus exposes its single eye when active. The electrical field that covers it is enough to deter most predators. If the Oculus detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it retracts into its impermeable shell. Okay, so I can do fuck all to them. Good to know. So, it looks like we can't go back up. So, we're kind of stuck going this way. I'll take that energy, thank you. Where the hell is this gonna go? I'll, I'll check out the elevator in a minute. How did you... Sucker. Get in the hole. Alright, where are we? I like this. These metal gates block entry to the center of the room. Oh, more Chozo lore. We'll take that. The future is a vague thing, ever-changing and always in doubt, even if we, Chozo, could gain the ability to foresee the future. It would be a hollow gift, for we could never hope to control what has yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. The day may come when its water dries up, and there's nothing we can do to stop such a tragedy. But we do know this, unlike this uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chozo will never run dry. So, like, they they say their, like, will and everything is, like, un enduring and, like, they'll, they'll you know, keep, they'll live on and everything, but, like, where are they? What happened to them? You never see any. Weak metal grating. Okay, can I blow that up with a more follow-up? Apparently so. Okay, we get one unlocked. And we got two. Hmm. How do we get up there, though? Like that. And now three unlocked.
Hell yeah, give me the missile. Missile expansion acquired. We have a few beetles here. Energy tank acquired. We backtracked all the way back here to get that E tank. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the elevator. Because not only was the, there an elevator there, but there was another path. So where do you lead? Magmore Caverns North. Okay, technically we can go there. We have the various suit. Okay, where does this go? back here okay okay that's back where the hive totem was all oh, right because we got the morph ball bomb now we can actually go that way look at me just being impatient and, and jumping Okay, so I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna wag more then. Access to Chozo Ruins and Oath granted. Please step into the hologram. Or don't. Okay, what do we got here? Anything scannable? Or I can just fall. That's fine, too. Doesn't look like there's anything scannable here. Okay. Ooh. Shit, there's more. Look, guys, I'm just trying to scan shit. Y'all are, like, trying to kill me. I don't appreciate it. Blast door? Don't mind if I do. Uh, save station? Yes, please. In a game has been saved. Energy fully replenished. Let's go. I mean, I was at full energy anyway. Yo, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. More of you, assholes? Goddamn. Okay, and what are you? Uh, Grisby, a subvolcanic carrion feeder. Carapace can be breached by missiles. 
Grisby's carabus has been fused together by superheated air. This barrier stands up to everything but concussive blasts. Its intelligence is limited to instinctive scavenging patterns. So I can kill you with a missile. Nope. Okay. Okay, y'all dead. A jump. And a yump. I took one damage. Uh, hello? Burrower. Tunneling insect predator. Similar to the beetle, though it spends more time underground. It seeks seismic disturbances, then services to attack. It has enough cunning to realize when something is too large for it to handle. Beyond that, it is fairly ignorant. What it lacks in brains, it makes up for with aggression. Well, perhaps it should have... It should have had the intelligence to realize that, uh... I was more than it could handle. Magmore Caverns. Yo, what are you? Morphology, Magmore. Fire-breathing serpent that dwells in lava. Magmores prefer extreme heat zones and are susceptible to frigid attack forms. Sightless. They navigate the lava currents using their sonar receptors. Magmores have a keen sense of smell, enabling them to pinpoint targets with startling accuracy. Okay, if you're sightless, then what are those five things on the top of your head that look like eyes? Oh, damn. I exploded his face. And now it's indicate a viable attach point for the grapple beam. Your grapple beam was damaged from the explosion on the research frigate and cannot be currently used. Okay. Well, we already knew that, though. And what are you? Puffer. Unstable gas-filled organism. Will erupt on contact. Puffers fill their bodies with lethal metavipirium gas and float about in search of food. If ruptured, the gas within the puffer was violently released. Despite their fragile bodies, puffers are aggressive hunters. The gas cloud they release upon death is often fatal to the creature that brings them down as well. Let's just go ahead and dispatch them. What do we have there? It's like you can't even hit me from over there. Stop it. I hear a thing. Faintly, but I hear one. Also, that middle structure looks different from everything else. I wonder if you can break it somehow. Well, it can't do it with a missile, so... I guess we need something stronger. Oh god, the put The platform sinks. Oh yeah, there's definitely something there. Sandstone. Okay, it's Morph Ball. Hello, I am here. Okay, I guess we're good.
where the hell are we going? Oh my god, what are you? Morphology, Triclops, hard-shelled creature with powerful jaws. The Triclops is a hunter-gatherer. It collects small creatures and bits of foodstuff, then deposits them in elsewhere for later consumption. The hard tripartite, the hard tripartite mandibles it uses to move earth and rock are quite strong and difficult to escape once ensnared. Well then, it looks like I'm going to have to take my chances. Are you going to hurt me? You do hurt me. I don't like that. You can go die. Okay, or we can keep doing this. That's fine too. Here, how about... How about you have a bomb? <laughs> hey, are you hungry? Chew on that. Oh, you want one too? Damn, you gotta carry all carry me all the way over there just to throw me out. You gonna catch oh, fucker? Then you're gonna you gonna go all the way back. Yeah, you can die. Give me that energy. Damn it! Now I'm not I'm not even at full. Asshole took three energy points from me. There we go. The fact that I can target that thing from way the fuck over here, kind of amazing. Wait, isn't this the room? Oh, shit. Uh, okay. We go back up. And we get here. It might not be in this room. I think it's in this room, though. Let's see, there's a doorway that way. But there's also a doorway forward. Oh? Where is it? There it is. It's right there. There's a fucking platform right here. Where's the other one? Okay, that's fine. The platform is here. I don't think I can actually even get to the platform. Unless there's like another one right here somewhere. I think it would require double jump to actually get to. Okay, 
Nope, y'all can die. That thing should have exploded. Oh god, how far are you gonna... Okay, that's not that far. Alright. Die. Really? No goodies at all? So stingy. Okay, then where does this go? Is it just a missile expansion? Yeah, okay, so this was just a missile expansion. Alright, that's fine. I, I got 30 missiles now, I'm happy. Okay, back we go. Oh good, the little asshats didn't respawn. I'll go through the thing, so we can get out. Okay, so we went that way, so now we go forward. And jump, jump. Same ones? Yep, same ones. Oh, hi. A simple auto turret. Okay, that takes care of those. I'm just preemptively taking those things out. Mm, cut that jump a little short. But it's fine. Okay, so we have two paths. Where does this go? Scan shown stress fractures in bendesium frame. Uh, what the hell is bendesium? I don't think I have anything to do anything to that. Not now, anyway. You know what, Fucko? Here, have a missile. Have another missile. Have a third missile.
Oh god, it's gonna toss me into lava. Fuck! Well, I took a lot of unnecessary damage there. Oh god. Take it slow. <sighs> okay. Good to go. We're up to 35 missiles now. I swear. I should have fucking remembered that one. Oh, I can't even get over there. Oh, wait, yes, I can. I just gotta go around. Like, after doing that, I now remember. I remember in the, in the in the original game how many times I came close to death from trying to do that. So they kept falling in the lava. Or just, you know, blatantly stepping in it like I just did for some reason. No, buddy, you can die. Nah, how about you don't do that? Okay, now where the fuck am I? Where does this go? Talon Overworld West? Okay, well, we're not going that way. Clearly, I need the uh, spider ball for that. The amount of time it takes you to get out of morph ball mode. Oh, fucking hell. Look, dude, you're an asshole. I don't like you. How about you die? Didn't even drop any health. Drop some health? No? Okay. Were those pouring like that before?
I gotta do it all again just to go back. I have 78 health. I have 64 health. I am not comfortable with this. Game, be nice to me. Oh, gee, thanks. 10 energy. You're so kind. I'm gonna fucking die. And it's been so long since I've saved too. I've made so much progress. Okay, I took it out. So as long as I don't piss off that other turret, too soon, I might be okay. So very close to death, and I am not comfortable with it. I don't need missiles! How far back is it? Oh my god, it's so far back. You know what? It's fine. We have 52 health. Fuck it, we're going back to the save station. Actually, if I can get enough energy, we won't have to go all the way back.
Okay, yeah, this is fine. Let me just, uh, let me just, yeah. Here, eat. Okay. Yeah, how about you eat that? How about you take this? How about you nibble on that? And I'm gonna get to the save station. Bomb this. Yeah, because, you know, the fire-breathing sea serpent isn't the priority that we need to be targeting. Sure. But you die. Where's the second one? You know, by the time I get back there, I'm not even going to need the energy. But I am going to save, and I'm going to wrap the stream up for today. Ooh, let's, uh, let's adopt. Save station. Oh, I picked this up from work. Do what? I picked this up from work. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, the white stuff is cream cheese. Did they get everything? I just, I was in line for almost 20 minutes. Damn. Uh, it says double cheddar, onion rings, and fries. That's what it says. Looks like they gave you a meal version. I ordered it separately. I mean, that's fine. This is fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, that works. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. No problem. I'm gonna dip on out because I gotta go run home and go to sleep. Well, yeah, I'm actually gonna wrap up here too because it's 3.30 in the morning. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> You too. That's okay. You could stop by whenever. Of course, you gotta pet the cat. Yes, I gotta pet the cat. <laughs> okay, get some rest. Okay, I will. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey, Flat. I didn't even see you in, man. Oh, Flat the Younger is uh, join the join the stream. He says goodbye. Oh, okay. Don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> uh, the game is great, dude. Like, the graphics, are just mwah, so good. The 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 fucking textures on everything, like everything looks so good compared to like what it used to. Like, everything's got this, like, this, this just shine to it. Like, monsters have, like, actual te textures, like, on their skin and shit. I mean, look, even her hand, just sitting on her gun idle, it did not look that good. You can actually see the different segments of her finger. 
It looks so good, my dude. So good. Like, uh, just take a moment for a second, right? And just listen. Listen for a second. Do you hear when she walks? Like, even the freaking sound of her footsteps didn't sound that good. There's actual proper reverberation, like, in, in narrow corridors like this. You can hear the echo to her steps and everything. It's, it's just, it's so good. I've been, I've been gushing about the way this game looks and sounds since I've fucking... Since I fucking started playing it. Like, in, when we got, when we got to Talon 4, you know, in the, in the area where you land, it's always raining. You can actually see, like, water drops and shit dripping, like, down the different, like, parts of her gun and stuff. And you can see, like, water droplets on her fingers and shit. It's so good. like right here you get the steam you got the steamed up visor you can see like the little all, all the fog like the, the little bubbles and shit i mean her visor steamed up in the first game but it didn't have like i don't think it had like the little textures and shit on it though the water the the magma's kind of uh it just looks like water on it it just behaves like water but uh like, it just looks, everything looks so good. I love it. I love it so much. I've been enjoying the hell of it. And, like, having, being able to, like, free move your freaking camera. As, instead of it just being, you know, the f control stick. Or the left stick. Active transport. You want me to go where now? Ah, you want me to go to Fendrana. See, I was going to take that to Talon Overworld, but you want me to go the other way. That's fine. I can go there next stream when I when I stream the game again. It does. I mean, it's a little weird. I mean, it'll take some getting used to because it's not like the original where, you know, you just use the left stick to look from side to side and you're just locked on. Like, you gotta actually move your camera. Oops. You gotta actually move your camera and, and then lock onto the enemy. Which is... Yeah, like I said, it, it's not... It works great in most games. But, like, the way Metroid Prime feels, the way it, uh, you're used to it feeling... Because you're used to the GameCube version, it it's it, it's gonna take some getting used to for me. But I mean, it's also got it's got four different control screens. It's got the dual stick, standard control sticks using control using control sticks for movement and aiming. It's got the pointer, which was uh, similar to how it worked in Metroid Prime Trilogy. So, that one, it wants me to calibrate, but I'm not going to do that. So, let me take this out. And see, now I have these. This is how it, how it was like in the trilogy, I'm assuming. And it's just, you know, wherever you're... You know, wherever your 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 thing is tilted.
And... You got hybrid, which I didn't really care for when I looked at it. Because, like, hybrid, this doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, that's how you do it. So, for hybrid, you, like, use that R. Like, I guess, like you did, uh, you used to in, in the original. Like, you kind of had to hold the button down to aim, and then you could, like, look around. And then you just look with... This, but see how see how my hand how my uh, Joy-Con is pointed up. You have to let that go, readjust your hand, and then do it again to like adjust how you're looking at it, or uh, like adjust what direction you're looking. And I didn't really care for that too much. And then of course they have the classic. Like, they have the original control scheme still in the game, where you just used your left stick. And, like, you could hold that button down to look up or down. But, yeah, they still got the, they still got the original, uh, original control scheme in it. But I've just been using the, uh... I've just been using the dual stick. Cause it's still it's still pretty comfortable. Uh, uh gyro plus stick? What? Use both that and motion controls to rotate the camera. What does that do? Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. So I can use the motion see I that, that bugs me because, like, my hand might shift positions, you know, and then I gotta, like, correct it depending on how my hand is moved if I do it that way. So I'm not super comfortable with that. Lock on free aim. Targeting reticle will remain fixed on enemies while locked onto them. I'm not sure what this one does, because that's not how... I haven't been using that. But yeah, also, the camera will not automatically face downwards when Samus jumps. So, you could set that on. And, like, when you jump, the camera, like, looks down to check your footing or something. So, it kind of looks down. A little bit when you jump. Which I guess is okay, but I don't. I mean, you could turn it off. Uh, they were off by default when when I started. Oh, also, you just have Spring Ball now. I don't think Spring Ball was ever a thing. Like, in the first Metroid Prime. I don't think you could ever just... Jump. With the Morph Ball. I think you always had... Didn't you always have to use the bombs to do that? Exactly. I don't think you could. Now you could just jump. You could just jump with the, with the ball. Yeah, it was annoying as hell, but now you can just do it. The Samus has got the spring ball. So, yeah, it's been pretty freaking awesome so far. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. Apparently, this game has narration that I'm not sure, um... That I'm not sure what it's about. But apparently, it's got narration. It had narration in the Japanese and European versions. But I don't know what that's about.
<laughs> Samus's next objective will be marked on the map after some time if she has not discovered it on her own. <laughs> Dude, like, if it wasn't for the hint system, the first time I played this game, I'd have been fucking lost. <laughs> I don't think I ever would have finished it. You'll receive in-game alerts when you unlock extras. Oh. But, uh, I checked. I checked in the menu when I started the game, right? Because there was one specific thing I was looking for. And... By default, I didn't see an option for the fusion suit. Now... I'm hoping... I'm hoping that maybe it unlocks after beating it. After beating the game the first time. I'm hoping the fusion suit will uh, be a thing. But by default, it's not there. But that's fine. Because you can still see... You know, this beautiful fucking... This beautiful fucking chrome-ass suit... No, you can't link it with the GBA, but Metroid Fusion is on is on the virtual console. So maybe it might have something to do with that. Like if you have Metroid Prime, like if you have Metroid Fusion data or something. Yeah, dude, the butt crack's still there. In all of its high definition glory. But yeah, the suit is so freaking shiny looking. Those textures, man. They just look so fucking good. Like, I mean, just look at the inside of her gun. Like, before in Metroid Prime 1, it was just like, you would just have a light inside of it. But you can actually see, like, grooves inside the barrel. That shit was never there before. Like... They had to have like completely re like visually redone redid this game. Like completely. The Parasite Queen looked dude, the Parasite Queen looked entirely different. Well not entirely different. It still had the same basic uh basic look to it, but the freaking The freaking textures on the Parasite Queen. Can I get the... Do you not get a model of her? Or do I not get to see the model? Ah. Well, that sucks. I thought maybe if you looked at the entries in the... Like in here, it would it would show you the model for it. Maybe if I go to the main menu. I'm okay with waiting for Prime Four now that they did this, dude. Yeah, it's not just a straight port. Like this shit's redone, and I'm super hyped for Prime Four too. You will lose unsaved data. It's like I just saved. It's fine. Nintendo and Retro Studios present 
such a clean title screen, man. It's so clean. So, like I said, here you have your options. You just have control, display, and sound. And extras. I thought it might have been an extras, but it's not there. I'm hoping, upon beating the game, um, it might unlock. But we get a soundtrack gallery now. It's got the sound. It's got the a freaking jukebox in the game. Like you could just straight up listen to it. Look, there's the freaking parasite queen right there, dude. It, she has textures. Like it looked entirely different, man. Entirely different. Where's Flagra? Wait, I already beat Flagra, so Flagra's... Oh, wait, didn't Flagra shared the theme with uh, the Parasite Queen, didn't, didn't it? Yeah, I think Flagra and the Parasite Queen share the same theme. I know you have a character gallery... The freaking ship, man, looks so good. I have new things. Oh, here's just the standard power suit. Dude, this power suit, until today, I thought it was just red. You know, the, the helmet and shoulders were red. And then the rest of it was entirely yellow. I didn't know until today that the fucking thighs are orange, dude. I thought the entire suit was yellow. But the thighs are actually orange. It wasn't like that in the original, dude. Like, I don't think it was. But this shit looks good. Then you get the Varia suit, which is so shiny. Look, they even went as far to put the face behind the visor on these models. You can very faintly see her face inside the visor. Then you got the morph ball. Still leaves a little energy, energy trail. Wait. Oh, shit. We got the space pirates and all of their textures and injuries that they actually bother added, adding. I mean, look at this. This dude's missing a chunk out of the back of his shoulder. It's just gone. And this sucker dead as hell. This one over here dying. No, go that way. Why are the controls inverted? That's dumb. You got the little parasites. Even the little parasites have textures now. Little bastards, they look so good. Here we go. Here's the Parasite Queen. She never looks so good, dude. Never looks so good. Like, this thing actually looks scary now.
And you have the standard enemies, the beetle, the war wasp, the little drone, the, the flamethrower drone, the hive mecha that spits out the wasps, the plated beetle that's shiny as hell. And of course, Flagra. Flagra look good as hell too. You can actually see its face. Because it's got so much detail on it. They did so much good work with this game, like redoing it like this. I am fucking blown away. I can't wait to see what the rest of this shit's gonna look like. Can you imagine? Just imagine for a second, right? If they do do a remaster, if they do a Prime 2 remaster, Like, think for a second. A version of Dark Samus that looks this fucking good. A, just a model of her that looks that good. My dude, it would look so good. She have, like, the blue neon and all the freaking, like, reflective black on her suit. I have a few things unlocked in biology. Ah! I think these were images that you can unlock in the original gallery. I don't remember that one. Oh yeah, the freaking frogs that eat you. And magmores. I haven't come across those things yet. And the little beetles that grab you and, like, launch you places. And then the fucking world. Doesn't look like I unlocked too many of this. Hmm. Okay. Damn it, I didn't mean to go back in it. Looks like there's a whole nother gallery <laughs> that is still yet to be unlocked. No, B button. Oh, it's because I didn't play them. Okay. I'm right, saving in progress. Oh, also, when you start a game... You actually can choose between normal and casual difficulty. I don't know what casual does. I mean, I just chose, I put on normal difficulty. So I don't know what casual would be. I imagine you might take less damage. But they got two difficulties to choose from. But yeah, I fucking I fucking love how this game turned out. I specifically avoided um, anything about it other than the fact that it came out. 
because uh, I don't want I don't want to spoil anything for myself. Oh, dude, you haven't even you haven't even been here, dude. Come on, oh man, shit, dude. Okay, that's fine. Did you did you see did you see the models? All the models that I that I showed? You got the Varia suit and the power suit. Yeah, until today I didn't even know that the power suit had orange on it. I thought it was all yellow. But the thighs are actually orange. But I have a model of the Parasite Queen. And she never looked that good, dude. Like, it actually looks like something terrifying. Like, that shit's nightmare fuel. Yeah, and before, you could barely even see what Flagra's face even looked like. Yeah, it is It is behind a barrier. But, like, the Parasite Queen didn't have textures like that before. Like, they actually gave these suckers proper textures and, and, and details in them. Like, this game has never looked this good. Even these tiny ones. Even the tiny ones look good. The ones that you see at the very beginning of the game. Munching on space pirates. They got, like, scaled textures and shit. I really hate how these controls are inverted. But they look so good, dude. I can't wait to see what the rest of this game is going to look like. And especially if they actually end up doing a remaster of Prime 2. Can you imagine seeing Dark Samus in a detail with with de with the level of detail that uh, is is this suit? Like, if you just saw a Dark Samus that looked like this. Like, she'd have the reflective black and all the, like, blue neon. She'd have, like, if you could zoom in far enough, you could see a, the, the soulless, like, the soulless eyes behind the visor or whatever. Be so fucking amazing. That might as well be a rule 34 for you. <laughs> oh, that's great. But yeah, I can't wait to see what the rest of this game is going to look like. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because it's four o'clock in the morning. And, uh, and, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I need, I want to finish eating, and, uh, yeah, I want to finish eating, and then I need to sleep, so, um, what do we, what do we, what do we, what do we get to do here, how about, uh, how do I do this, this'll do. The last Metroid is in captivity, the galaxy is at peace. That should be good. Sure. Okay, so this has been Metroid Prime Remastered. I have been super excited to play this game, like I said. Um, I was so excited 
that I could not wait until a uh, more reasonable time to start streaming uh, tomorrow, well, today, um, that I started streaming at like 11.30 at night, which I don't typically do, but, you know, I wanted to play it. Uh, and I didn't get to on my birthday because I wasn't feeling well. I came down with a fever and, uh, well, you guys already know because I told you, in, I told you in the Discord and, uh, my Discord server. But, um, I'm going to be continuing this and I still need to finish RC, uh, Legends of Arceus also. So I'll be doing that too at some point. Um, I might flip-flop between the two games, because up till now I was just doing Arceus every night, but I have Metroid Prime now too, so I might just kind of cycle back and forth through them um, every other night. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not really planning this out. I'm just kind of doing it, so. Um, are we streaming tomorrow? Quite possibly. Um maybe around 6 p.m. ish uh, Eastern. Possibly. But yeah, it'll definitely be earlier than today. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. I, uh, well, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, so I don't expect anybody to actually be online. Uh, now it doesn't look like it. So yeah, that's fine. I'll just go ahead and wrap up then. Uh, I'll catch it. Yeah, sure, dude. Like, just keep your eye on the notifications and the Discord and all that good jazz because I post there when I go live all the time. Uh, and, uh,. For those of you that have watched tonight, if you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more, be sure to be sure to hit that follow button. Make sure your notifications are on so that you'll be notified when I go live. Do I really want to wait the, no the next two minutes for the song to wrap up? Uh, I could. I have to bullshit for uh, another 120 seconds, though. <laughs> Which might not seem like a long time, but when you're just kind of... When you're just kind of spouting at the mouth, uh, words, um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not as easy as it looks sometimes. Um, right. What else? I do have other plans for, 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 like, things that I want to do. Um, I also want to do, Met I also want to do a playthrough of Metroid Dread again. Dread, Dread was, fu Dread is fucking hard. But it's fun. Um, so I might do that at some point on the channel. Because I've already done Metroid Prime 1 and 2. And then I'm doing Metroid Prime 1 Remastered again. Which! Which! I I 100 percent it the first time in the GameCube version. And so I'm going to 100 percent it again in this one. So, um, The only thing that trips me up on uh dread is like when you have to do the different like the the movement puzzles like you gotta hit you gotta hit that speed boost like right at the right moment and do that like down so you can have it charged and do that special jump those things are very difficult for me to accomplish but uh hopefully i'll be able to do them when i do the playthrough um otherwise it's going to be very frustrating uh, but anyway, uh, we're coming up to the end of the song, so I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and fuck off, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, stay tuned for more, and, uh, I will see you all in the next one, have a good night, guys, later.